awesome. Gunner, you feel like a uh, Buckeye yet, or is it a little bit of Wildcat still in you? Uh, no, definitely a Buckeye now. Uh, still getting used to it, just being home. Still kind of feels a little funny to me, but I'm glad to be back. And for sure, definitely. A lot of us haven't got to talk to you, but why Ohio State? I mean, you know, you, you knew what the situation was. Justin Fields transferred in here, five-star, you know, et cetera. But why'd you pick Ohio State? Just great tradition. Uh, I got a family legacy here. I wanted to come home and just be a part of the, like I said, the tradition year. It's awesome. Great path to take. And I just wanted to be a part of it. Uh, what do you think you have to prove over the next couple, three weeks? I mean, uh, you had to pick up the system pretty quick, I would guess. How, how tough has that been? And then... Number two, what do you want to kind of show people over the next three weeks, four weeks? Uh, just coming in. I mean, I got you. Got to be confident. You got to come in and compete every day, and you got to uh, take the time and learn the offense and get in the film room as much as you can throughout the summer, which we did. And coming into camp, keep doing it and go out there every single day with confidence. How much different is this offense from the one you were in? Uh, it's there's a few similar things, and then there's a few things that obviously I've never seen. So then that's what makes it challenging, and that's what makes it. There's parts that I already know. So yeah. Well, Gunner, can you can you maybe just take us through a little bit the decision when you're maybe deciding maybe I'm going to go someplace other than Kentucky. Maybe I'm looking to, to try somewhere different, and then the idea that Ohio State might be that opportunity. Just what was, what was that process like for you? Uh, well, I went through uh, spring ball in Kentucky, like you guys know. Uh, just wanted to change it up, I guess. See my opportunity somewhere else, so I went to the portal, and Ohio State came to me, and I mean that's awesome. That's biggest biggest school there can be. So I came come here, and it's great great to be a part of it. When you decide to go into the portal, though, is Ohio State already in the back of your mind? Not necessarily. Honestly, I had no idea. Uh, just. What me and uh, Coach Stoops at Kentucky thought was just to see what's out there and at the time, and then I got in touch with Ohio State, and bam, there it was. And like I said, it's it's been awesome to come back here. How quickly did Ohio State get in touch with you? Uh, probably a day right after I was in the portal, just then seeing you. Obviously, there were other schools you could have gone to where maybe you'd have a more immediate chance to get on the field and be the starter right away. Here you come in, you've got to contend with Justin Fields, you've got to compete. What made you decide to come here instead of maybe another school where you would have been more likely to be the starter right away? Uh, like I said, just the, the family tradition there is and uh, how my dad played here. I've had a cousin play here, uncle that coached here, and just being a part of that. Uh, legacy and tradition there is at Ohio State. It's awesome and can further my future and get a master's program from Ohio State. It's awesome. So. What are you majoring in here? Uh, I'm doing sports coaching in my master's. So. Hey, Gunner, I think the general assumption from everybody is that Justin's going to win the job. Was it, I know that all the things you just said about legacy, but like when you are going into a situation where that is the assumption, do you come in accepting that? Do you come in thinking that they're wrong? I mean, what is the thought process when you know, yeah, just, you no, know, I get it, I get it, I understand. Yeah. I mean, I never have that mentality of like, I'm giving up. So you always gotta come out every practice and compete, show the coaches what you got, show the team what you got, and go out there and do the best you can. And the coaches will decide who the best guy is and we'll roll with it. But I think that in this current world where we're talking about this transfer portal, especially at the quarterback position, the worry is that everybody is going to leave to go play. Like that's the assumption, right? If you're not starting somewhere else, then you're going to go to a place that you can get on the field immediately. You seem to be different in that category of like, there's a huge block in front of you to get onto the field. Maybe you'll overcome them, but if you don't, that already existed before you made your decision. Mm -hmm. So do you find yourself different in that regard? Uh, I mean, it's kind of different coming home. That's one of the bigger parts of it. And just like I've been saying, the tradition here at Ohio State, that's always been a dream of mine. Ever since I was a little kid, I came a ton of games coming here. And so just that was a huge part of it, coming here and being a part of this team. So, well, Gunner, as you step into the portal, is it a long, dark tunnel? Is it full of lights? What was the portal like as you stepped into it? Uh, at first, I was a little nervous to do it, honestly. I mean, like, it, it was fun. I was, obviously, I en ended up in a great spot, so yeah. I'm glad. What uh, is it like? Does your are you waiting for your phone to start blowing up the minute you make it known that you're out there? What's that? I first think I think hours? it was like it t when you put your name in. I think it takes like 24 hours or something for it to go live. Mm -hmm. So in your stomach, like you're nervous of oh, what's going to happen? Or what's yeah, that? I, I was a little nervous at first because what if you enter the portal and the school you don't want to go to isn't isn't there and you can't find a good situation? I mean, I'm sure that's happened to a few guys out there. So when you had a when you had something going at Kentucky, you can get your masters there and stuff like that. So. 
it's a little it's a little nerve wracking at first, but obviously Ohio State stepped in. Yeah. Got to be here. What was your recruiting process like? You know, being in Columbus, did you did Ohio State get into like, this out of high school? Yeah, out of high school, not really. No, I mean uh, Kentucky was my biggest offer to the SEC, and that's one of the main reasons why I chose to go there. So, what kind of difference is there? That your first freshman fall camp to coming to now, it's a new system, your, your, your fall camp now, what kind of difference between the two for you? Uh, it's honestly a little bit of the same because you got to learn the new system, new guys around, new coaches, new everything. So it's kind of the same as being a freshman and coming here and being a new guy here. So you just got to get used to it. You got to start all over. How much does your time at Kentucky having done it before help then? It, it helps somewhat because you can get, you know, what's like, you know how camp's going to be. You know how it's going to be long days, long practices, stuff like that. So it helps. About how many schools would you say reached out to you while you were in the portal? Five or six, probably. I mean, that's about it. Yeah. So Ohio State's clearly the biggest yeah. one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, it's basically like you were being recruited again. Um, how does that compare to your initial recruitment, you know, going through that process being kind of a, mm -hmm. like a wider array of teams versus a super uh, It's It's similar, but honestly, it's – if there's diff it's different in some ways. You got you got to be you got to think faster because it's you don't have much time obviously as you do you do in high school to make that decision. So I mean honestly, it's it's kind of the same. You got to learn the coaches, learn the learn who's there at those schools, and see what you like the most. So. How do you think you're Couple stacking up in the quarterback battle? To ask a question about fall camp. I mean, all of us we're going in there competing. Fields, Chugs, uh, Danny. Laurel, we're all competing this whole camp. It's it's awesome. We're helping each other, helping each other run the offense, seeing what, telling each other what we see out there. If one of us is not in, taking mental reps. So. Are there, was, any, there uh, certain, was there something on your game that you worked on this summer to get ready for this competition? Uh, well, I definitely wanted to get faster throughout the summer. That's one of my things. Work on footwork. Cause coming here, you gotta have new different footwork for certain different plays compared to what we did at Kentucky. So get that down, stuff like that. How'd you do that? Uh, just doing different drills and stuff, going working with Coach Mick and through the whole summer doing speed drills. So, can you just describe two more questions? Your description of yourself as a quarterback. Um, calm and uh, stay poised. Our, that was be it. <laughs> how have you managed to do that? Why do you think you have that characteristic? Uh, I don't know. I've always been kind of more of a quiet person. So I mean, I'm calm, but when I need to be the the confident guy, I can I can do that. So. Are there any Last childhood question. memories that you have of coming to games yeah. here? Anything being an Ohio yeah. State family that uh, makes this place special to you? Yeah, <laughs> move it the, uh, the game against the team up north when uh, we won 42 to 39 that year. I was at that game. It was a pretty pretty cool atmosphere to just see that. Do you think that you could? Have won? What, what, did Last you call question. them the team up north growing up, or did that only start when you got to school here? Uh. Here and there, I mean, I mean, kind of more definitely when I got to school here, but here and there as a little kid, yeah. Some of that you understand, some yeah, of that understand. stuff naturally yeah, from yeah, definitely. being from around here. Yeah. Do you think you can win the quarterback job? I mean, you got to come in and compete. You can't come in here and be the have the attitude of just gonna you're gonna sit back and let somebody else take it. So you got to come in with a good attitude, good mindset, and everything. Thank you, Gunner. Appreciate Thanks, it. Gunner. Thanks. Hey, Gunner. Do you mind if